Hello everyone. Welcome to another Monday movie. I'm Mr. Blue Summers. So this is part two of a, of a two-part series where we're talking about how you can reduce your render times in 3D Studio Max. Now in the last video I was, I was extolling the virtues of, um, of reducing your render time because it gives you that much more time to actually work on your scene. It gives you more time to learn about 3D Studio Max rather than wait to see the change that you just invoked on your scene. Last week we talked about four techniques, this week we're going to talk about three. We talked about how to reduce your render times, for example, by reducing the size of your renderable area. Rather than doing the default 640 by 480, you can reduce the size of the image in order to cut back on your render time. Fewer pixels rendered means lower rendering time. Next we talked about using area to render and rendering only certain sections of your scene in order to see your invoked changes. After that, we talked about reducing the area shadow sampling from this light in order to uh, cut back on the render times in terms of lighting. Then finally, we talked about the big kahuna altering your rendering sampling, which added a lot of graininess to our scene, but it had the biggest impact on reducing render time. So this week, I've got three more techniques for you. The first is poly count. The next is changing special lighting settings. And then finally, we're going to talk about special materials. So let's get started. This scene took uh, 23 seconds to render. You'll notice I'm a little bit closer than I was last week. Let's take a look at some of these objects. Now, these are way too tessellated. This sphere has 84 segments, and this cube is 32 by 32 by 32 polygons. It is huge. Now, I know that you're saying to yourself, yeah, but I don't make spheres that are 84 segments. but this is a, a much broader concept. For example, if you have trees in your scene that are way far away behind your character, you shouldn't be making super high detail ZBrush trees that are you know, 50,000 polygons each and making a whole forest of them. You don't need that. You can use alpha mapped trees to reduce the polygon count and to increase uh, the speed of your render. So I'm going to take this sphere and I'm going to knock it down to um, 32 segments. And this box can be knocked down to 2x2x2 two by two by two, because these are all flat planes. Let's take another render and see what that did. All right, so we went from 23 seconds to 21 seconds. Not a huge impact, um, about right 10-ish 10, percent. But that 10 percent could save you in the long run. That's 10 percent less time you need to be waiting for, for your render. So let's take a look at the next item. What about special lighting setups? Since I, I think 3D Studio Max 2008, we've seen Final Gather On by default. And you can reach it by going to your Render Setup panel and then going to Indirect Illumination. So Final Gather is on by default, and the default settings are, are pretty rough. Um, but it doesn't need to be on <laughs> by default. It does make your renders look better, but it also increases your render time. So in this case, I'm using all glossy materials. I'm using an area light. I don't necessarily need indirect illumination. So let's turn off Final Gather and see what that does to the render time. It's going to be much lower. All right, let's have a look. So this took 13 seconds. We went from 21 seconds to 13 seconds by turning off Final Gather. And it didn't make a huge impact on this scene. All of these are glossy objects, so they reflect each other anyway. And I'm using an area light, so we're keeping the soft shadows. This was an awesome improvement. We don't have to worry about turning off Final Gather. A quick note though, sometimes your scenes will rely on Final Gather. They'll rely on indirect illumination in order to make things look right. So this optimization is kind of uh, tricky. It's kind of circumstantial. So, you know, always beware, right? Not all these techniques will work every single time. They're just things to keep in the back of your head. Let's look at our final technique, which is altering special materials. If you look closely, you can see that the materials I've picked for this scene were, were very deliberate. I picked the most computationally intensive things I could think of. I picked Pro Materials Hardwood 
for the for the floor plane where I could have picked uh, a ray trace material. All of these objects are um, DGS physics phenomenon materials in uh, mental ray. And this extends into, into V-Ray and Brazil too. If you're taking test renders, your character doesn't need to have that subsurface scattering material all the time. You can apply a dummy material that's just pink and then work from there with your test renders if you're setting up lighting. So in the same way, when I look at this scene, if I'm working on my uh, if I'm working on the displacement map for this sphere, I don't want to be rendering this backdrop all the time, this very computationally intensive backdrop. So I could just replace it with a gray material or a, or a brownish material that approximates uh, what I want. So I can just kind of grab my color picker here and I'm just going to pick a color that kind of approximates that brownish color. That's close enough. I'll turn up the glossiness and specularity so that it looks a lot like its um, like its counterpart. And again, these are all really really cheap changes, right? Swap out the material, and let's take another render and see what we can see what we can get from 13 seconds. And there you have it. I replaced a really expensive material in my scene, and now my render is down to six seconds. And I haven't used any of the techniques from my previous Monday movie. I bet if I did, I could get this down to one second. These techniques are incredibly powerful, and I strongly encourage you to use them whenever you can. Faster renders means more time that you're spending working on your scene, more time that you're spending learning. So until next week, happy rendering. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday movie. You can find all of my Monday movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads at my website, www.mrbluesummers.com.